Hello, Daniel. Good evening. How are you? How are you? Fine, I'm fine. I'm just fine. What about you? I'm fine, teacher. How's Today. everything? What? Everything's fine? Fine, fine. Ana, Ana Maria Palacios Cruz. Okay. Great, great. Everybody's connecting. Jenny, hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Cesar, how are you? Hello, Cesar. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hello, everybody. He said hello to everybody. Oh. Cesar nos dijo hola a todos. Hello, Cesar. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Cesar? Everything's fine? Uh, uh, I'm relaxed. That's great. That's great. Yes, yes. That's excellent. Just give me a second, one minute for we to start. Hello, Vicente. How are you? Hello, excellent. Andres, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys, let's see. We will remember remind everybody one last time about the class. I'm sorry, I think I'm having, I think we're having problems with connection. Tell me, Cesar. Eh, casi no, se le, se le, como entrecorta la voz, no se le entiende mucho. Oh, really? Now I can hear you quite clear. En este momento le escucho claro, claro. Uh, bueno, quizás seré yo, quizás es mi internet, pero por el uh, momento se le corta la voz o se le, ah, se, lo, se le oye como entrecortada la voz. Ok, just let me check something. Okay, I think problem solved. What about now? Okay. 
Por el momento ya se lo oye un poco mejor. Eh, with the video? Yes. Yes? Okay, yes. No problem. It's just that the signal is like fluttering right now because uh, sometimes I get uh, five bars, sometimes I just get two bars. Okay. I need to replace the router in my house. Yeah. So, how are you? Let's see, Cesar, how was your day? Tell me. Uh, well, today, uh, here in my house. Relax then. You didn't work today? Work, uh, homework. Ah, from home. To, today, today, homework. Oh. Tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow uh, let's go to the office. Tomorrow, I go to the I office. I go to the office. Oh, okay. Interesting. Uh, what about you, Andres? How was your day? Hi. Very cool. I was watching Netflix. Oh, really? You didn't yes. go to work today? And this is hard working. Okay, working from home. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. So you are relaxed. Yes. What about you, Vicente? Excellent. Tell me, how was your day? Did you go to work today? Uh, yes, in my house. Oh, working from home. That's nice. Hard, hard work. Okay. I got here Maria Eliana, Mayra, Lisette, Marcos, Jennifer. Please activate your camera so I can see you guys. Oh, perfect. No problem, no problem. Enjoy, Marcos. Gracias. Okay, let's see. I got three, six, nine, twelve. Maybelline, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm Fansen. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Let's see, Jennifer is having trouble, trouble with connection. Okay, guys, today we are going to talk about the alphabet. You know, and the alphabet is a very nice topic. Okay. But before we start with that, let's make a small review about previous class. What do you remember from yesterday, guys? Do you remember something from yesterday? Uh, yes uh, or no questions. Exactly. With the verb be. We're working with the verb be. Yes. Verb be. Like Cesar, are you in your house right now? Uh, hello, hello. Are you in your house? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. And tell me, Andres, are you tired today? No. No. I am Perfect. I am Excellent. Let's see, uh, Mayra Lisette. Hello. Hello, how are you? Tell me, Mayra. Uh, how are you today? Um, fine. I oh. work yes? all day. Oh. You have to work all day? Yes. Ouch. So, in what traffic, time? In the traffic is... Estuvo terrible, pesado. terrible, terrible, heavy, <laughs> or something that is even worse is when the traffic is hectic. Hectic, hectic, hectic. in the traffic, the hectic. traffic, the traffic is hectic. Oh, the traffic is hectic, hectic. It means like terrible, horrible. 
that's hectic. Okay. Okay, what about you? Let's see, Mayra. Mayra Iliana. Is that right? My teacher, no, it's Mayra. Yeah, I got it, Mayra. Okay. Mayra Ileana Corleto. Hello, Mayra, yes, how yes. are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me, uh, how was your day? Do you have a good day or a bad day? Heavy day? Mm, yes. I, I, hmm, you are tired or you are relaxed right now? Uh, a little relaxed. A little relaxed, okay. And thank you very much. Jennifer, hello. Hello, good night. Hello, Jennifer. Tell me, how are you today? I'm tired. Tired? What time did you finish working? Five o'clock. So, five o'clock. Five o'clock. And what time do you start working in the morning? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Oh, a long day. Yes. A very long day. Uh, I can imagine. Well, that's the way, no? Así toca. Yes. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, um, tell me, Jennifer. Are you home? Yes, I am in my house. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, you are alone right now, aren't you? You are alone right now, or is your husband with you? No, I am alone right now. He's alone, so she's relaxed right now. <laughs> yes. No problem, she says. Marcos, hello. Hello. How are you, Marcos? Fine. Oh, Marcos is satisfied. He finished food. So he's like, cool, no problem. Relax. That's nice. That's the attitude. <laughs> Everybody's like, good. So, guys, today, let's see. We're going to talk about the alphabet and it's going to be a long class just talking about the alphabet. We are going to learn the alphabet, memorize the alphabet, practice the alphabet, spell. We're going to spell many, many different words. So it's going to be uh, interesting. We're going to have an interesting conversation today. So let me see. Uh, do you know this word? Spell, it means deletrear. We are going to spell many different words today. Okay? We are going to do spelling exercises. That's today's class. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, okay. First off, do you know the alphabet, guys? So, so, teacher. So, so, okay. Now, yeah. it's important to know the alphabet because we as Latin speakers, sometimes we don't, we don't understand some words from English, or sometimes English speakers don't understand some words like uh, our names. Like for them, uh, I mean, Orellana as an example. Orellana is, for us, is like normal, no? Like Lopez, uh, Valladares. But what about if uh, somebody from the United States come and ask, Mayra, what is your full name? And Mayra says, oh, my name is Mayra Lisette Valladares. And they are writing, and they are like, Valladares. That sound is not common in English. OK? 
okay? They don't have that sound of the double L. They don't have it like we do. En inglés ese sonido, el de la doble L no existe. So if you are like giving information, imagine you are giving information, and the is, oh, gosh. Okay, and Myra needs to, to give the information about herself, she needs to spell her last name. So she has to go, oh, it's Valladares. V-A-L-L-A-D-A-R-E-S. Or sometimes, if you don't understand their last name, they spell them to you, but they go fast. So, we are going to practice with that. Hello, Maybelline. Welcome. I, oh, I'm sorry. I got two Maybellines. Yeah. Okay. I got Maybelline Janira and Maybelline Michelle. Maybelline Michelle, were you with us yesterday? Oh, no, you couldn't. You have problems, I remember. So, let's see. As you see, it's like Maybelline. Imagine that Maybelline is giving her name to somebody and they are like Maybelline. In English, the problem is that when we talk about names, sometimes names are written in different way or in different form. And we have to be aware of that fact that sometimes the names, uh, they change. Even in Spanish, they do. Somos conscientes que los nombres normalmente cambian. A veces un nombre se escribe de maneras diferentes. Like my name, I'm Douglas Arevalo. Okay, but some people write D-U-G-L-A-S. And it's correct. Algunas personas escriben D-U-G-L-A-S. But in my case, my name is D-O-U-G-L-A-S. Because I'm not Douglas, I'm Douglas. The difference is small, but it's there. My name is not Douglas, it's Douglas Arevalo in English. So the pronunciation sometimes is kind of tricky for, our, for us Spanish speakers. And that's why we are going to focus today on spelling. I am explaining all this because even though you're going to fill the class very long, it got an objective. Estoy explicando detenidamente esto porque. Why? Because spelling is very important in everyday conversations. Okay? It's a very important part. And that's why in the program, in the planning, we are dedicating a long space of time to that because we are moving fast and we are covering a lot of information. So this topic, we need to have it today, like close, finish, okay? So let's start. I'm going to show you information about spelling. Let's see, let's see, let's see, guys. Give me just a second for me to show you the first part of this. Okay, let's see. Okie dokie, learn the alphabet. Okay, can you see the representation? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, there's Shakespeare. English basics. Okay, guys. The alphabet. The English alphabet. 
Okay, this is letter A. We got next letter B. Then we have letter C. Okay, something important. Uh, can you see me right now? Something important, and I'm sorry that I stopped right here. We got the first letter of the alphabet is letter A. The second letter is letter B. B. We have to cl close our mouth and make the sound B. Please do it in your house. Let's do the sound A, B, B. Okay, perfect. Let's continue. We got letter C. Then we have letter D. Then we have letter E. F. 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 E. Okay. In this case, look at my mouth. F. F. Exactly, I can see you. Then the F is like long, like two F, F longer. Like when we are saying, oh, uh, we need people, we need workers to be efficient, efficient. As you can see, I keep it long, efficient. In English, the sound of the F is longer than in Spanish. In Spanish, we say falso, short. In English, in English, you say false. You hear the difference? Listen, Spanish, falso. English, false. It's longer, the F. That's why we say F. Let's continue. G, 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 G. Okay, letter G. This is very simple. We are going to put our tongue, the tongue, we're going to pressure, to push it to the ceiling of your mouth, to the upper part of your mouth. And you go like, G, G, G. Can you reproduce the sound? G. Okay, let's continue. H, H, H. In this case, there's a little T sound, but it's very short. Acá hay un sonido de T bien cortito. Very, very short. H. How do you notice? Because this T sound is your tongue hitting your teeth. Ese sonidito de T bien corto lo producimos cuando nuestra lengua toca levemente la parte de atrás de nuestros dientes. If you try to Close your eyes and focus on where your tongue goes. Si usted cierra sus ojos y se enfoca dónde va su lengua cuando diga H, you will notice that the tongue hits your upper teeth. Se va a dar cuenta que su lengua toca su diente de arriba. H. Can you do it? Yes? Excellent. Let's continue. Now, next letter.
This is very simple. This is letter I. I. Okay, that's very simple. If you got a problem with that, just just go like this on yourself and you're gonna go like I. It's like when we hit something. Remember when you wake up early in the morning and you hear your pinky toe. Recuérdese cuando se despierta en la mañanita temprano y se pega cabal en el dedo chiquito. The same sound, I. That's very simple. Let's continue. J, J, J. Now here, notice, there's like the little, little D. Okay. We form the letter D. We start with our tongue touching our teeth and we go like J, J. Your tongue goes backwards. Su lengua va hacia atrás. J. Do it. J. Okay, perfect. K, 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 K. This sound is very simple, okay? It's here, pushing air out. Aire sale por acá. K, K. You know what? Let's say a word in Spanish. Say, cake. Digan, cake. Say it. On your house, say it. Cake. Now notice. Put your hand. Put your hand like this. Ponga su mano acá. Cerca de su boca. Cuando diga la palabra, you will feel the flow of air. Va a sentir como soplamos aire. Diga, cake. Okay. Can you feel? Se siente un leve vientecito. Ahora un poquito más fuerte, un poquito más de aire. K. K. Like an explosion of air. Can you feel it? Se siente la explosión de aire. Estamos haciendo bien el sonido. K. You got it? Yes? K. Let's continue. L, L, L. Here, the same. Do you remember F? The same situation. The sound longer than in Spanish. Okay? L, L. Okay? That's all. The sound a little bit longer. L. No, L. 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 Okay, let's continue. M, M, M. Look at my mouth. M, M. You see, I close my mouth. But the sound is still going. Cierro mis labios, pero el sonido sigue. M. It's like when we say, oh, you remember when we are mad at somebody, cuando nos amamos con alguien y decimos, mens. So, when we do it like that, we make the M longer. Cuando estamos bien molestos con alguien, hasta le ponemos énfasis a la M, ¿verdad? It's the same. M. Perfect. Excellent. Let's continue. N. 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 Very simple sound. Your tongue goes to your ceiling. 
the upper part of your mouth, your tongue, do this. Imagínense que su lengua hace esto cuando decimos en, en. El último sonido de la N es con la lengua tocando el cielo a la boca. En. No los dientes, sino más atrásito. En. Ok. Let's continue. O, oh, O, oh. this is simple, O, oh. P, 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 remember, in the case of P, is the same explosion, P, P, we hit, it's an explosion of air, P, like when we say problem, say problem, put your hand and say Problem. Ponga la mano y haga problem. You hear the explosion of air. P. This is very important because it helps us pronounce better. Esto nos ayuda que nuestra pronunciación sea mejor. And it can be listened, it can be heard as more natural. Y puede escucharse más natural. Okay? Let's continue. Q, 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 Q. The same case as in K, Q, Q. The sound goes like this, Q, Q, okay? Okay, let's continue. Okay, R, 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 R. Okay, this is the most beautiful sound, R. Okay, guys, we're going to do a, a somewhat funny practice, okay? Say the word caro. In Spanish, say caro. Now, slower, más lento, caro. Now, notice where your tongue is when you pronounce the R. Ahora, fíjese dónde está su lengua cuando pronuncia la R. Caro. Okay, you see that your tongue goes up. Damos cuenta que la lengua sube, ¿verdad? Yes, caro. Now, we are going to twist it a little bit more. La vamos a enrollar un poquito más hacia atrás, okay? Caro. Caro. Now, R. R. Okay? We are going to say, let's see. Uh, Carlos, no Carlos. We're going to say Carlos, Marcos, Marcos, Andres, Myra, Myra, Cesar, Cesar. You see, it changed. Just that little letter changed the pronunciation of the names. Solo esa pequeña letra nos cambió la pronunciación de los nombres, ¿verdad? Yes. Jennifer. Jennifer. Ok. Myra. A little word changes the pronunciation. And R is very important because for us, the pronunciation of the R is kind of mm, a little bit difficult. Para nosotros esa pronunciación es un poquito rara porque ese sonido como tal no existe en Spanish. We don't have it because the position for us to the R is like this. 
but in English, your tongue goes twisted. Remember? R, R, R. Okay? Like problem, problem, perfect, perfect. Presentation. Later, later. You see, the pronunciation of the letter is slightly different. Let's continue. Okay. S. 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 The letter, the letter is S. Now, with the letter S, we have to be careful. Yes, the letter, just the letter, is S. Es cierto, la letra solita ella es S. But when we pronounce in a word, the pronunciation is different. Like when we say Spanish. Now, I want you to say it on your own, but say Spanish. Spanish. Repeat on your house, Spanish. Notice, no es Spanish. Spanish. The sound goes like s. Okay? Like Cesar, Cesar. Okay? Carlos, Carlos. Sol, Sol. No es. When you say it in the word, it's different. Okay? Cuando lo decimos dentro de una palabra, recordemos, si inicia con S, no vamos a decir Spanish. Decimos Spanish. Es un ceseo el que hacemos. Ese sonido es para que no tengamos problemas. Porque si así, cuando decimos Spanish, La lengua está suelta antes del sonido de la S, porque decimos la E, es Spanish. Para no equivocarnos, vea cómo sale el sonido. Pone usted su lengua tocando sus dientes de abajo. Your lower teeth. Okay? Los dientes de abajo, tocando los dientes de abajo, and you go like Spanish. Spanish. You see? The sound changes. El sonido cambia porque iniciamos con el sonido, la lengua tocando la parte de atrás de los dientes de abajo. Spanish. It's different than when you say Spanish. Spanish. Okay? Is clear? Is this clear? Yes? Okay, let's continue. T, T, very simple, T, U, 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 V, V. Now, remember, the first is B, this one is V. V, V, like in video, video. Now, the same, do you remember? We blow, V, V. Tiene que sentir el viento desde el inicio de que pronuncia la letra. Para pronunciar esta V, no cerramos la voz. Los labios levemente abiertos y hacemos V. Sentimos el vientecito. Yes. V. V. Ok. Now say video. Video. No es golpeado. No es como en B. B. It's an explosion. In this case is slow blow. En este caso es un viento suave, lento. Ok. Video. 
volume. Okay. Look at these two words. The first one, video. The second one, volume. You see? Video. Volume. Volume. You don't close your mouth. It's a little bit open. Volume. Video. Okay? It is not video. It's video. Okay? Let's continue. W. W. This is very simple for us. Esta está fácil para nosotros. Acuérdese del diablo. W. Very simple. W. Okay? This is the easy one. Let's continue. X. X. X, X. The sound of this one is like when we say exceso. Say it in Spanish. Exceso. Digamos la palabra en español. Dígala. Exceso. Now cut it. Ahora córtela. X. X. You see? It's very simple. X. Why, 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 why? That's simple, no? Why? Again, let's relate it to Spanish. Say guayaba. Now cut it. Ahora cortela. Why? Exactly the sound. You see? Guayaba. Why? The same sound. And let's see the last one. Z. 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 Okay, this is a little bit more difficult for us. The sound is like this. Z. Z. Your teeth are like this. So dientes están casi cerrados. Your tongue is hitting your teeth. Su lengua está tocando los dientes. Está apoyada en los dientes de abajo y está vibrando. Z. Sí. Z. Sí. Ahora fíjense en esto. Diga zapato. Zapato. Está en el mismo lugar al inicio, solo que no vibra. ¿Cómo hacemos que vibre? soplamos entre ese espacio que queda entre lengua y dientes. Z. 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 ¿Ok? ¿Can you do it? Ok, now let's see. We are going to make a small practice. So we can relax. I will divide you. I will. Teacher, teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Uh, can you share the slide? The pronunciation. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's see. You need it now. Oh, I don't know if you can, like, uh, let's see. I will share it with you one more time so you can see it, okay? Is that okay? Can you see? I will pronounce them again one more time, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. 
One more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, for some people, this works. For some Sister, people, yes. Sister, a question. Uh, why C is, uh, is C in el ser? En, que tiene C y tiene ser. Why? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which, which C? Ah, en la, en la Z. Why is C y a la par tiene ser. Okay, let me see. Let me see just a second. Let me check. Let me get what you mean. Z. 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 Oh, because that's phonics. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because that's phonics. Okay, let Ahí tiene phonética. But in this moment, you don't really need to get into symbols because symbols get a meaning. You remember that in the dictionary next to the word, there appears the symbols. They appear like letters, but they change a little bit. ¿Te recuerdan que en el diccionario aparece la letra y le aparece el simbolito? El simbolito representa el sonido, pero para eso tenemos que haber estudiado fonética. And you don't really need it. Realmente no lo necesitan, but I'll show it to you, okay? Let's see, I have it here, and I'll show it like that to you, so you can get it, what I'm talking about. Okay, hello. What happened? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is it that I need you to show you? Is this... I don't know, I'm having problems with connection, but I'll try to show it to you later because I have another presentation when where there is exactly that. Tengo otra presentación donde aparece exactamente eso. Okay? The 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 what do you call it? Hold on. Where you get exactly, exactly the pronunciation. And the symbol for the, the symbol for the phonetics. I have it exactly right here. Let's see if right now I can do it. Uh, let me see. No, I have this one already. And I have this other slash. The other slice. Yeah, my signal is very bad today, guys. I'm so sorry. Me disculpan, pero como que mi señal ahora no está muy... Muy buena, que digamos. And it's giving me problems with everything on the computer. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Well, anyway, we are going to go to the, to the breakout rooms and what are we going to do? It's very simple. We are going to divide, uh, I'm going to divide you in small groups and I want you together in groups of three, practice the pronunciation. I will go from group to group, checking out the pronunciation, but uh, let's see, yes, we are going to take the attendance in a few minutes. Uh, let me see, how many do I have here? There are three, six, nine, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
14. Okay, that means seven groups. Let's do it now. Let's go to the groups. Jennifer, you got an invitation to join the group. Tiene una invitación para unirse al grupo? Daniel, Carlos. Okay, perfect. Hola, oh, you? Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, and C. Okay, now Jennifer, with your eyes closed, just from memory. Okay. Okay. One time complete, one time with your eyes open, and once with your eyes closed, because I want you to notice, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, Y, D. Okay, okay. Now, remember, do this. One time with your eyes open and one time with your eyes closed, like this. A, B, C, D, okay? Twice. Okay. Lo decimos dos veces. Una vez con ojos abiertos, una vez con ojos cerrados. Okay? And the other one, eh, nuestro compañero va checando. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. A, B, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, B, W, X, Y, T. Sí. Sí. Hi, teacher. Good night. So, now do it like this. Jen, uh, Maybelline, do this. Say it one time with your eyes open, like reading, and the second time you close your eyes, and Andres is going to be checking your pronunciation, okay? La primera vez, hágalo con los ojos abiertos. La segunda vez, cierre sus ojos, and your classmate is going to help you checking out if you are correct, okay, Andres? Okay. Perfect. Let's do it. Very nice. Dale, Ahorita con los ojos sea, sin ver. No, right now, open. No, open. Ah, ah, ahorita. Close. Ajá. The first one is practice. El primero de práctica. Ok. A, B, C, D, E, L, G, H, I, K, J, J, K, L, M. Vicente, you are alone? You are alone? I'm alone. Yes. Okay, I will move you to another group. Don't worry. Okay. I will move you to another group right now. Let's see. You are in breakout room number. Or I will move you to number five, okay? Sí, tendría en que mi ser... caso. Ajá, tendría que ser. Ah. 
A A M A A Okay, listen, a. listen. Listen guys. Let's do this. Like do it like this one time with your eyes open. Hagámoslo así, una vez con los ojos abiertos. Like reading because I know that you have it written somewhere. Sé que algunos lo tienen escrito. You go like a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, M, O. Okay? And your classmate, su compañero, está listening and helping you if you make a mistake. But the second time, close your eyes. You go like okay. A, B, C, D. And your classmate is ready to help you if you make a mistake. Y su compañero le ayuda si se equivoca. Okay? Okay. Comienzo. Ahí está. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you finish? Eh, yes. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya estuvimos practicando, okay. pero estamos no. eh, eh, espera, esperándolo para consultarle algo. Yeah, sure, tell Porque me. Porque no, no. No nos ha quedado muy claro en qué momento o, o, o cómo utilizar el ti y el fed. La, 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 la pronunciación. Ok. Forget about cell. Z. Sí. Okay. Zebra. Zero. Only Z. Okay. Sí. Yeah. Sí. Listen. Brazil. Brazil. Zebra. Zebra. Zero. Zebra. Ok. Ah, okay. Brazil. Zebra. Zero. Okay, that's the sound. Okay. Now, let's see. Cesar, tell me the alphabet that close your eyes. And Mayra is going to be attentive if you make a mistake. Okay? No reading, no nothing, just by memory. Close your eyes okay, and okay. see. Okay. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 C, G. G. Uh, H uh, I I I J K L M N O P Q R S T U B W X Y Z. Perfect. Just a few letters, but you're very good. Now it's my restaurant, and you check. Okay? Okay. Continue. A me. Yes. Hello, guys. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. You finished? <laughs> Le hemos repetido dos veces. Vamos okay. con la tercera. But now, Maybelline, it's going to get a little twist. Ahora le vamos a poner ah. un pequeñito cambio. Now, you start, but with your eyes closed. No reading. Just by memory, ah. okay? Oh. And Carlos uh. is going to be checking. If you get like A, B, mm, Carlos is going to help you. C, and you got like, oh, C, D, E, okay? Okay, so, okay. While one of you is like saying them, the other one is ready to help you. Mientras uno lo dice, el otro está listo para ayudarte, okay? Okay. okay. We just have uh, two minutes for finishing, okay? Okay. Bueno, eh, eh, solo. Em, Empieza usted con los ojos cerrados, entonces. Vale. No, lo que hice fue cerrar. Eh, ah, estoy cerrando la pronunciación y solo voy a ver la letra. ¿no? Excelente, excelente. S T U V W X Y Z. 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 Zebra. Z. Say with me, zebra. Zebra. Brazil. Brazil. Zero. Zero. Perfect. So you finish twice. Yes. Eyes open yes. and eyes closed. Perfect. Pareciera muy simple, pero solo con el alfabeto it has taken long, and we still need to practice with vocabulary. So now start thinking about your name, Pell. Okay? Ahora comienza a pensar en su nombre de letreado, because that's, in order is easy, in order is fácil, in disorder is different. Okay? Let's practice. Okay. Okay. M. 
N O P Q R S T U B W S K Y Y Y Y Y Y Y Y Sí. Repeat. Okay. A, hasta B, que diga, hasta que diga guay al final. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Sigue, consigue. A, B, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, P, Q, M. M M N O P Q R S T U B Seguimos? Sí. Nos cambiaron. Hola. Sí. <risa> Hola, Jennifer. Hola, ¿qué tal? Este, dijeron que deletriéramos nuestros nombres ahora. Sí. Hello. Nombres. Um, ok. Very good. Ok. I first. Ok. ¿Y de cuánto es el grupo? Teacher, the microphone. Teacher, the microphone. I'm sorry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <risa> oh, ok. Now... There's no group right now. We are together, all together. Now we are going to start thinking about in a different way, okay? I need you to please start thinking with your name, okay? Choose, a, take a piece of paper and write down your first name and your last name, okay? I will give you an example. I will give you an example in the chat. Okay, my full name is Douglas Rodolfo Arevalo Amaya. That's my full name. But in English, we usually just use first name and last name. Okay? So, my first name is Douglas. And my last name is Arevalo. Last name. That's my last name, okay? So, if they ask me, how do you spell your first name? Oh, it's Douglas. How do you spell your last name? Oh, that's Arevalo. Now, when somebody asks me, uh, imagine that Maybelline tells me, uh, excuse me, teacher, how do you spell your name? Uh, how do you spell your last name? I tell her, ah, oh, my last name is Arevalo. A R E V A L O. Arevalo. Okay? That way you make it clear. You say the word, you spell the word, and you repeat the word. Okay? Arevalo. A R E V A L O. Arevalo. Got it? Now, in a piece of paper, write your first name, first name, and your last name, okay? Now, let's see. Let's practice. We are going to make first a practice together, and then we are going to make a practice as groups, okay? You ready? Let's see, let's see. Cesar, can you please spell your, can you please spell your first name? Cesar, okay. C-E-S-A-R, Cesar. Perfect, excellent. Now, Andres, please, could you spell your last name?
Uriyana. Yes. O R E L L A N A. Orellana. Orellana. Perfect. Thank you. Now let's see. Oh, Maybelline Michelle. Please, Maybelline, spell your first name. Uh, M A yes. Y B E R R I M Maybelline. Okay, let's see. M A Y B E L L I N E. I Maybelline. Maybe. Wow. Mm. A long name. Yeah. Now let's see. Carlos Alberto. Hello. Please, mister. Can you can you please spell Carlos for me? Okay. Uh, C A R L O S. Perfect. Carlos. Carlos. Okay, guys, before anything else, let's take attendance. Let's see. Carlos Alberto Menendez. Present. Thank you. Maria Iliana. No, Mayra Iliana. Sorry. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios. I cannot hear you. Your microphone is off. Present. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> Maybelline Michelle Martinez. Present. Thank you. Erika del Carmen Colocho. No, she didn't connect today, no? Not yet. Oh. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Okay, thank you. Jose Reinaldo Sandoval. Didn't appear. Not yet. Claudia Patricia Granados. She hasn't connect today. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you, Andres. Cesar. Present. There, Cesar. Thank you. Jenny Lisette Escobar. Present. Thank you. Jose Ever. Mm, he just came to the first class. Perhaps problem. Vicente Alexander. Present. Reyes. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Arturo Montes. Ah, there's Daniel. Daniel, hello. Present, Michelle. Thank you. Mayra Lisette Valladares. Present. Thank you. Marcos Ivan Martinez. Present. Yeah, there's Marcos. Crisia Madeline. Mm, no, you didn't connect. Okay. Maybelline Janira. Present. Thank you. Carla Ivonne. Oh, Carla didn't connect today. And Julio Alonso. No. No, no, oh. seven minutes. Okay, guys. Yeah, we got a lot of people absent today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. Remember that you are not supposed to fail. If you are absent a day, you need to you need to talk to the people from human resources. Okay? You try. Do your best, and if a class you cannot connect early, it's not a problem if you connect later on. No se preocupe si una clase usted llegó tarde y no se pudo conectar cabal a la hora. Si usted me conecta a las nueve, igual. I mean, algo aprovechamos de la clase, okay? Que si un día tenemos problemas de conexión o de tiempo, let's do it, don't worry, connect. It's very important for us 
that you are here because the most we are here, the more we practice. Mientras más sabemos, mejor practicamos, porque practica con different people. So you listen to different types of pronunciation, and that's what you need. You don't need just my pronunciation. You need to listen to different people speaking in different accents. Cada persona tiene un acento diferente. Por eso es importante la presencia de cada uno de ustedes, porque cuando practicamos, usted tiene la oportunidad de escuchar acento distinto. Even in Spanish, we've got different accents. Even in El Salvador, if you are from a part of El Salvador and you go to another part of El Salvador, some words are pronounced slightly different. That's normal. But let's continue. Let's see. Let's continue. Let's continue. We were working with first names and last name. Okay? So, again, we are going to divide into groups and I want you to ask this question. I'm going to type it and please write it down because you are going to ask that question to your classmate. You're going to say to the person, we're going to be very polite. Imagine that you are in a call center. Vamos a imaginar que usted está trabajando en un call center. You are taking a phone call and the person say, tell her name, but you didn't understand a part of the name. Alguien nos llamó, la persona dijo el nombre, pero no le entendimos una parte. ¿Cómo le diríamos? Oh, we go like, excuse me. Could you spell Could you spell En el espacio en blanco le vamos a pedir a la persona Imagine that I'm talking to Andres, and he says, Hi, my name is Andres Orellana. And I tell him, Oh, excuse me, could you spell Orellana? And he goes and spell. And then we see, we switch, okay? You're going to say, you are going to introduce, Hi, my name is, and the other person is going to go, Excuse me, could you spell uh, M, the first name or the last name? Okay, you get it? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. You sure? Yes, teacher. Veo cara así como que. Mm. <laughs> ok, I will explain one more time en español. Uno de ustedes viene y se presenta y dice: Hi, my name is César Humberto López. And César is working with Mayra Iliana. And Mayra le dice: Excuse me, uh, how do you spell César? And he goes, it's Z-E-S-A-R, Z-S-A-R. Okay? And then we switch roles, y luego cambiamos de papel. Got it? Okay, let's do it. So we are going to divide into groups right now, but I'm going to recreate the rooms ready you need to join the rooms because i change it Okay. Hello, my name is Iliana. Hello, 
Excuse me. Could you spell Ileana? It's it's I R I A N A. Okay. 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 Yes. Thank you. Okay, now me. Hi, my name is Douglas Arevalo. Excuse, excuse me, could you spell Arevalo? Oh, yes, sure. It's A R E V A L O, Arevalo. Okay, thank you. Thanks to you. Okay, now with the first name, with the last name, with your full name, okay? Okay. This is short. This is very short. Okay. Okay. Uh, What's your second name? My okay. second name is Ivan. Could you spell Ivan? Ivan. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, it's middle name. Middle. 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 Middle name. My middle name is Rodolfo. Okay? My first name is Douglas. My middle name is Rodolfo. And my last name is Arevalo. Okay? My middle okay. name. Ivan. Okay, Ivan. How do you spell Ivan? I B A E A A A M. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, we're going back to the main room. Hello. Okay, hello, oh. hello. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, so, how was the practice? Tell me. Let's see, uh, we are going to make a small practice. Now it's going to be a little bit different, okay? <laughs> because today we are going to do a different activity. Okay, now I am going to dictate to you some words. I'm going to spell some words. I'm going to dictate them, spell to you. I need you to write them. And after, you are going to check if what you wrote is what I have. Okay? So, okay. ready? Yes. Okay, the first word is, I will spell. So, ready? C O M P U T E R. I repeat C O M P U T E R. T E R. Check it in the chat. You got it right? Yes. yes. Okay. It's that one, that one was easy. Computer is very easy. simple. Computer. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we are going to have a little bit, one a little bit more difficult. Okay. Listen. Ready? Yes. I will repeat twice. First letter, D, E, V, I, O, U, S, Devious. 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 Yes, that's a homework for yeah. you. You will look up that word. 
Okay. ¿Qué significa okay. devious? Ah, that's a homework for you. You will have to look okay. for it. You will have to look for it. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's see. The next word for you. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. The next word for you. Start with M. I. S. C. H. I. E. F. I repeat. M. I. S. C. H. I. E. F. Mischief. You got it like this? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. Mischief. 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 Travesura. <laughs> okay. Now I got another one for you, and this one is similar in the meaning. This is similar in the meaning. Okay, ready? Yes. N. N. A. U. G. H. T. Y. <coughs> now. No. I repeat. No. N. A. U. G. H T Y Nori 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 Yeah, I was talking to Michelle's husband and he told me that when he met her, él me dijo que cuando la conoció, she was a very naughty girl. Es como un niño travieso, inquieto. Okay? That's naughty. But we don't say naughty, we say Naughty. Okay? Now, let's see. We got right now four words. Oh, and it's ten. I have ten words prepared for you. But now I'm going to start increasing the speed. Okay? Ahora voy a comenzar a incrementar la velocidad. Ready? Okay. Okay. T. O U C H space espacio P A D I repeat T O U C H space P A D Toshpa 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 Okay do you know what is that in the laptop, the one that we touch in the laptop, that's the touch pad. Touch pad. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. We need uh how do you what do you want? A small word or a diff a simple word or a difficult one? Simple. <laughs> okay, a difficult one. Perfect. No, 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 it's gonna be easy. It's gonna be easy. Just remember it's fast. It's fast, okay? Uh, let's see. Next word. C O N V E R S A T I O N. What is the word? Conversation. Conversation. Perfect, Cesar. Conversation. Look at it. C O N V E R S A T I O N. Conversation. Now, ready for next? Yes. Yes. Perfect. 
but now it's going to be a slight difference. Cesar, think up yes. a word in English. Think a word in English. A uh, word that you know. No, uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Okay, okay. Write it down. Write it down right now. Okay. Yes. Andres is waiting for you to dictate that word spell. Andres, Cesar is going to dictate a word for you. You ready, Andres? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hmm? Es... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> es T U D I N C Student. Okay. Perfect. Very simple, no? Student. Can yes. you hear it, guys? Remember, he said S T U D E N T. Now, Andres. Yes. Think one word in English. You got it? Yeah. Write yeah. it. Please, a difficult one, a difficult one. Michelle is waiting for you to dictate the word. A very difficult one, okay? Ready, Michelle? Yes. Okay, Andres, if, if you don't hear one word, Michelle, Andres can repeat the word just two times, okay? Please, Andres, dictate to her. A, B, O, C, A, D, O. A vocal, a vocal, okay. a vocal, a vocal. Perfect, a vocal. Oh, delicious, delicious. <laughs> Do you know what it is, Michelle? Yes, yes. Yeah. Delicious, no? So, Andres yeah. is thinking dinner right now. Es <laughs> eh, okay. que sí, the abogado in the table. Oh, it's <laughs> close for you. Yeah, he's thinking. I was like, man, he's thinking dinner. He's thinking dinner. That's cool. So, let's see. Avocado. Nice. Michelle, one word. Ready? Yeah. Okay, Jennifer is waiting for you. Please dictate to her. Uh, w I L D O W. It's very simple, Jennifer. Repeat, please. May Michelle, repeat the spelling. W I L D O W. Yes, Jennifer, that word. Mm -hmm. I saw your mouth when you moved. Window. Right. Window. Window. Ventana. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Jennifer, do you have one word? Uh, okay. Do you have one word? Yes? Ready? You are going to dictate to Vicente. Vicente is like, oh man, I'm sleepy. So that way Vicente is going to be like up. Everybody be trying to follow up. Jennifer, please dictate to him. Okay. Hi. Excuse me. T. T. A. A. B. Excuse, repeat, please. Okay. T. E. T. A. Sorry. T. A. B. L. E. Oh, Jennifer, that one was very easy. What is the word, Vicente?
Sorry, creo que tengo problemas de conexión. No escuché la verdad. Yeah. Okay, this is the word. Can you see the chat? Table. Yes. Table. It was very simple. Now, Vicente, do you have a word that you can dictate to Carlos? Carlos okay. is bored right now. He's like, man, please, me. You ready, Carlos? Yes. Okay. He is going to dictate to you. Él va a dictar. Okay. Ready, Carlos? Yes, start, Vicente. Okay. M O U N T A I N. Mountain. Oh, come on. Don't say it. Don't say it before Carlos. Carlos, you got it? Mountain. 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 Say it with me. Mountain. 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 Perfect. The T is very short. Mountain. Mountain. Okay. Mountain. Mountain. Perfect. Excellent. Carlos, do you have one word? Yo repita. No, you need to dictate to Marcos. Oh. Marcos, you ready? Yes. Okay. Carlos, dictate please one word to him. Okay, okay. T E L E F O N O Oh, I'm sorry, Carlos. Yeah, it's mm. correct. It's correct. You dictate correctly. But the word was in English. In English could have been T-E-L-O. Um, sorry. T-E-L-E-B-H-O-N-E. -E -E in English. Telephone. But it's okay. Carlos, you dictated, you pronounced correct the word. Okay, who's missing? Who's missing? Mayra, Mayra is missing. Marcos, do you have one word for Mayra? Yes. Please dictate to her. Fast, fast, because we are running against time. We need to do another activity. Is L E E P P P. Repeat, please. S L E E P. Ah, oh, okay, Mayra, you got the word? Hola. Hi. Sleep. Perfect. Yes. Sleep. Yes. Sleep, Mayra. Remember the pronunciation? Sleep. Say it with me. Sleep. Uh -huh. Sleep. Like that. Perfect. The last one was correct. Sleep. 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 Okay, Mayra, uh, who hasn't participated? Jenny. Hello, Jenny. You ready? Yes, yes. Mayra, please dictate one word to her fast. Okay. C I R U R A R. No. <laughs> okay, Mayra. A little repeat, bit repeat. slower. Okay. C I R U R A R. That's in Spanish. Uh, That's cellular? a word in Spanish. Oh, yes. cellular, cellular, C E. Ah, mm. yeah, it was C like, what is it? What is it? The beginning. Yes, but it's correct. Thank you, Maria. Mayra, I'm sorry. My bad. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why. I think that if Mayra gets me in the street, she's gonna go like, yeah, my name is Mayra. Okay, Jenny, you ready? Okay. I think yes. who's missing? Who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Daniel. Daniel hasn't participated. So Jenny, you ready? Daniel is waiting for you. Okay, boy. A L 
P H A B E T. Oh, good, good. Daniel, what is the word? Uh, now, teacher. Okay, listen, Daniel. Look at it. A L P H A B E T. Alphabet. Alphabet. Yeah, nice word, Jenny. Excellent word. <laughs> okay, guys. Now, you see, it's very simple. When we do the exercise of the spelling, it's very simple, but we need to do it like that. We need to go faster in order to pronounce the words like names, mostly names. And sometimes, sometimes, perhaps some words because of the accent. Es importante el spelling más que todo por, por los nombres. Y algunas veces por aquello del acento. Hay palabras que nosotros, puede ser que la persona que le esté diciendo el acento de ellos sea too weird. Could be that the accent could be too weird. You see that word? Weird. W-A-I-R-D. Weird. Raro, extraño. Sometimes, I mean, when you are over there, uh, when you are speaking with uh, English with some people, that's the problem sometimes that uh, you don't quite get the pronunciation of the people. So sometimes the way they pronounce is too alien to us. A veces la manera como pronuncian es muy extraña para mí. And that's why the spelling is needed. So, now, there are different ways where how we can ask the person. We can ask the person, uh, like here in the class, if you don't know one word, you ask me. Hey, teacher, excuse me, how do you spell? Okay? That's one way to do it. Es una manera de preguntarle a alguien. How do you spell? Can you see the word? The phrase? Yes? Now, another way to make that question is another one that is more polite. When you go to somebody and you say, could you spell? And you say the word and you are, please? Like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Lopez, could you spell Lopez, please? That way I am being very, very polite, okay? In that okay. way, I am being very, very polite. Oh, the little baby is going to sleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? Okay. So, you see, that way, we are being more polite. Do you know that word, polite? ¿Conocemos esa palabra? Polite. Amable. Exactly. So we are more polite when we say, could you, could you spell, could you spell Montes, please? We are being more polite. And that's very, very important for Americans. Remember, when you learn the language, you are not just learning how to speak it. You are also learning the culture because the language doesn't express just words, express ideas and express ways of thinking. Es importante que recordemos eso. Los idiomas no solamente expresan palabras, expresan ideas y maneras de pensar. El inglés, for thinking, English is easier and faster. El inglés para pensar es más fácil y más rápido. Than Spanish. Spanish tend to be pretty formal. El español tiende a ser muy formal. And it got very, mu very much florituras. En español tenemos muchas florituras. English needs to go straight to the point, but also needs to be polite. Pero también necesita ser amable. And in English, it's very important to remember. And that's why we are today working with the spelling of last name, of names. 
Because when you are talking to somebody that you don't know, perhaps on the phone, or somebody that is superior to you, you always use the last name, the title. Do you remember from yesterday? Like, Mr. Orellana, please, can you spell your first name to me? Yes, Mr. Orellana. Could you spell your first name to me? Yes. O R E. Uh -uh. Your first name. First. Ah. First name. Okay. Your yeah, last name. Hey. A I N T R E S. Perfect. Thank you very much. You see. I am being very polite. Estoy siendo muy amable. I go, Mr. Orellana. Señor Orellana. Could you please? Podría, por favor. In English, those little things, they are not too many. No son tantas. Pero esas pequeñas expresiones de amabilidad are very important. Otherwise, you are considered rude. De otra manera, usted se considera que es tosco and it's better if you ask somebody to spell their name. Y es mejor si usted le pide a alguien que le deletree su nombre. For you to be mispronouncing or miswriting the name of someone. A ellos no les molesta deletrear. But it's better if you ask them that. Y prefieren si usted se los pide que le deletreen. Rather than you mispronouncing en lugar que usted... Diga mal el nombre de ellos o lo escriba mal. Most of Americans, they don't care. They do it. La mayor parte del norteamericano, if you ask them, please, could you spell your name? They spell it for you fast. No problem. La mayor parte de ellos no les importa. Ellos lo hacen fácilmente. Okay? That's yes, normal. Sir, yes. Este, y el, del, el please puede ir al, al principio de... That question or, or uh, at the end? end? Both. Uh -huh. Both. Okay, this word, do you know this word? I will say it to you. Both. Ambos. Both. You pronounce it like with a neph. Both. Both. It means ambos. Yes, you can say please at the beginning. Listen. A, Mr. Orellana, please, could you spell your first name? Or I can say, Mr. Orellana, could you spell your first name, please? Or, Mr. Orellana, could you spell, please, your first name? So you see, uh, please, no problem where it goes. It's accepted. El please no importa donde vaya. But be sure if you are talking with somebody and you want to be polite, formal, use it. Excuse me. I'm sorry. When you don't hear properly, perhaps you're in a phone call, you go, I'm sorry. Could you please repeat? And there's another expression when you don't hear something. And you will hear it sometimes. Uh, some people say, Beg your pardon. That's an old-fashioned expression. Es una expresión un poquito vieja. Okay. Some people say, beg your pardon. O, oh, I beg your pardon. Si alguna vez escuchan esa expresión, beg your pardon, le está diciendo... Perdona, no le entendí o no le escuché. Okay? That's the idea. Beg your pardon. It means no le entendí o no le escuché. That's a modism. Because, really, if you try to translate word by word, it doesn't mean that. Si usted quiere traducir palabra por palabra, no le va a salir eso. Sería rogar tu perdón. But the idea... With that expression, with beg your pardon is, I didn't hear you. Or somebody could say, I, I couldn't 
catch. I couldn't catch your last name. Oh, I couldn't catch it. Uh, I couldn't catch your first name, Mr. Lopez. I just remember Lopez. I couldn't catch it. What was it? And you go like, oh, it was Caesar. It means no pude atrapar. But it means I couldn't listen or I couldn't remember or I couldn't understand. Okay? And some people, when they say that, sometimes they will ask you, please spell it for me. Mostly when you are in phone calls, that's normal. Remember, sometimes communication or through this, sometimes the, we have problems with the communication, with the sign up. So you will need the spelling. That's why spelling is very important. So now we are going to go back to the rooms. I'm going to divide you. But now you are not going to talk about your names, okay? The ones who have husband or wife, you are going to spell for your classmate the name of the person. Not say the name. You spell the name for your classmate. If you don't have a husband or a wife, perhaps you have a son or a daughter. Say it of your son or your daughter. El que no esté casado, tal vez tiene hijos o hijas. And if not your parents, one of your parents, sino uno de sus padres. I want you to spell somebody else's name, okay? El nombre de alguien más. And the idea now is for you to make it faster, okay? We need to go faster in the spelling. Like, uh, what is Mayra did? Oh, she's gone? Oh, no, right there. I got you. Yeah, like Mayra did. She was going fast. That's the way I need it. You ready? Do you understand the activity? ¿Entendemos la actividad? Yes? Okay. Catch it and write it the name of the person because I will ask you then to spell to the rest of the class. Okay? Let's do it. Join the rooms, please. Carlos, you need to join room number three. Perfect. Okay. Edit. E. D. I T H. Okay, but don't tell her it. Just to start. Okay, it's E D I T H. And she has to tell you the name. Okay? Ah, okay. You don't tell her. No, now choose somebody else. Somebody else. Or your daughter or your wife. But choose somebody else. Okay? Okay. Or do you spell last name? name? Las Valladares. D A L L A D A R E S. Okay. Ahora oh. sí, preguntas tú. Okay. How let's... do you spell Martinez? Okay. M A A R T I I N E Z Martinez Tens Okay now let's see Mayra please spell for me your husband's name. 
I single. You're single? I am single, yes. Okay. Your <laughs> father's name. Okay. His his name is Jose. Don't tell me the Jay. name. Just spell it. No me diga el nombre, solo deletréemelo. Now we are going to okay. change. Tell Marcos your mom's name. Okay? Spell for okay. her. Spell for him your mom's name. Okay? Okay. L I Yes. No. Nosotros bloqueados, no entendimos. Okay, simple. Maybelline. Okay, please. Spell for me your husband's name. Don't tell me the name. Spell it. No me diga el nombre de su esposo. Deletréeme. Husband es esposo. Quiere el nombre de mi esposo. Yes, but spell. Okay. Deletreado. Yes. Understand, me di. Yes, understand. Sería O R L A M D O Orlando. Is that right? Correct. Okay, Correct. perfect. Now, Carlos. Spell somebody's name of your family to Maybelline. Like she did to me. Okay? Somebody from your family. Anybody. Okay, the the Yeah. The name is my mother is Carl. Don't tell the name. Don't tell the name. Just spell it. You spell the name and she tells you the name. Yes, sí, teacher. Lo que pasa es que primero me pregunta eh, cómo se llama mi mamá. O, ok. Y yo le digo cómo se llama mi mamá y después me pregunta que se la deletre. ¿no? Uh -huh. the, other, the other way around. Let's do it like this. Look. Look, Andrés. The, okay. the other? Just, just listen. Andrés. Yes. My wife's name is spelled B I C K Y. I repeat for you, my wife's, mi esposa, my wife's uh -huh. name is V-I-C-K-Y. Okay, Andres, what is it? Vicky. Perfect. You see? That's what I want you to do. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, the, <clears throat> the name is my, uh, the name my mother is? The name. My mother's name. C. My mother's name. C A R M E N. C C L E. Okay, guys, we're going Hello. back. Hello. Okay, guys. I saw somebody alone. Mabel and Michelle, were you alone? Estaba solita? Me? I think so. Vi un nombre solito ahí. No. That's weird. Okay, let's see. I got three, six, nine, twelve. Now, please remember before anything else. Remember, guys, uh, we have, I have a special session today with some of you. I got Carlos Alberto Menendez uh, from 10 to 10. 10. Oh, let me pass the, the attendance. Carlos Alberto, present. Mayra Iliana? Present. Ana Maria Palacios. Present. Present, thank you. Maybelline Michelle Martinez de Ramos. 
present. Erika del Carmen Colocho. No here. Jennifer. Elizabeth Hueso. Present. Thank you. Jose Reinaldo Sandoval. No here. Claudia Patricia Granados. No here. Andrés Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you. Cesar Humberto. Present. Right there. Jenny Lisset Escobar. Present. Perfect. Thank you, Jenny. Jose Versolis. Oh, no, he had a problem, he said. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo Montes. Present. Oh, thank you. Mayra Lisset Valladares. Present. Marcos Ivan. Present. Thank you. Crisia Madeline. Yeah. Oh. Maybelline Janina. Present. Thank you. Carla Yvonne. No, she had a problem. Julio Alonso Durán. Either. Zero. Okay. Now, I was telling you, uh, I'm sorry, I will switch into Spanish just to remember this. Voy a cambiar a español solo para recordarles algo. Me disculpan. Con algunos de ustedes tengo una sesión particular de 10 minutos programada. El día de ahora les enviaron correos con un link diferente yes. a algunos de ustedes donde les aparece fecha y hora. Para el yes. día de hoy tengo programados, quiero ver, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco de ustedes. Carlos Alberto Menéndez, Mayra Ileana Corleto, Ana María Palacios, Maybelline Michelle Martínez de Ramos, en Erika de Carmen Colocho. Ustedes están programados, cada uno tiene 10 minutos. Al terminar esta sesión, yo cierro esta sesión y abro el otro enlace porque les han mandado un enlace particular. Cada los 10 minutos, a los 10 minutos se conecta alguien más. Esta sesión es, si usted tiene una duda sobre alguno de los temas que hemos visto, sobre algún eh, tema del inglés en particular, nos conectamos ahí y yo con gusto les explico. Ese es para consultas particulares, ¿ok? Not the class or the class if you want. But it's any question you got. Así que, eh, ahí lo voy a estar esperando. Ok, yeah. because it's almost time. Yes? Este, en mi caso, a mí no me ha caído ningún correo, pero yo no tengo preguntas, o sea. Ok, no sé. Mayra. If anything, I will let them know that you didn't get your email. Ok. Sí, estoy revisando y no, no me ha caído nada. Yeah, because they told me that today they send the invitations. Who got it? ¿A quiénes les cayó? A mí sí, me cayó una. A mí, a mí sí, teacher. Okay. Anyway, don't worry. If anything, I'm going to be there. Si se le ocurre algo, yo voy a estar ahí. Guys, I'm sorry that I'm going to cut right now, but I need to connect to that session. I, I'll be waiting for Carlos Alberto Menéndez. If you got any questions, se me conecta en el otro link, and I'll be waiting for you. Thank you very much. Tomorrow okay. early. Eh, Good night. Le voy, a poner, le voy a poner dos áreas en el foro, de una sobre el video de ayer y otra sobre el video de ahora, for you to comment, ¿ok? okay. Because tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Okay, perfect. See Good night. you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.